Hello guys, you are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for always stopping by. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. Bruce Fenn, American lawyer to Nnam De Kanu, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has said, the Nigerian government are to be the ones on trial, not Nnam De Kanu. Fenn, in a release obtained by Sahara reporters on Thursday, stated that what the Russian president Putin was doing with his troops in Ukraine was Tea Party compared to what the Muhammad Buhari government is inflicting on the Biafran leader and Biafran. The IPOB leader has been detained in the facility of Nigerian Security Police, the Department of State Services, for over 10 months having been arrested since June 27, 2021. He had been arraigned several times before the Federal High Court Abuja over charges of treason, treasonable, felony, terrorism, and illegal possession of firearms, among others, with the latest court sitting on Wednesday. The court on Wednesday had declined to grant bail to the detained IPOB leader, Justice Bing, Binta Enyako had heard that Kano must explain the reason why he breached the previous bill that was given to him before he could enjoy another favorable discretion from the court. Reacting in a statement on Thursday, Fain said, Kano should not be the one facing trial, rather it should be the Nigerian government. He said, the Fulani-controlled government of Nigeria should be on trial, not Namde Kano. The former prosecution of the later turns the law on its head from an instrument of justice to a weapon of oppression. Judicial notice can be taken of the following. The Nigerian government attempted to assassinate Nandekano in September 2017 for exercising his constitutional and international law rights to self-determination by the people of Biafra. The Abia High Court has awarded Mazen Namdekano 5 billion naira in damages for the valuation. The attempted assassination disqualified the Nigerian government from prosecuting Mazen Namdekano for lack of imperiality required by due process and international law. The Nigerian government continues to deny the people of Biafra their an inalienable right to self determination and should ride in jurisprudent mandatory international law and article 1 of the international covenant on civil and political rights the nigerian government conspired with the government of kenya to kidnap and torture nandekano in june 2021 the nigerian government conspired with the government of kenya to subject nandekano to extraordinary redemption to abuja Nigeria, in violation of international law and relevant extradition treaties. Since his criminal extraordinary redemption, Nandekano has been denied access to counsel of his choice in violation of international human rights law and the Nigerian constitution, including myself, on multiple occasions. The Nigerian government speaking through Chief George had authorized a secret trial of Nandekano in hopes of cancelling his planned criminal judiciary murder of the defendant. The Nigerian government has denied Mazen Nandekano a universally recognized presumption of innocence by punishing him with 11 months of cruel imprisonment without a crumb of admissible advice of guilt submitted to a court of law. The Nigerian government has denied Mazen Namdekanu a right to a trial within a reasonable time after detention despite its army of law enforcement resources by compounding delay upon delay for nearly a year and scrumping away from a hard trial date. To underscore the magnitude of the Buari, Malami, Inyako, 
denial of Nandekanu's international law and constitutional right, a comparison with the due processes received by Ngozi Nazi leaders accused of the most unspeakable crimes in the history of mankind by the International Military Tribunal at Nuremberg in Instructive. The Nazi leaders enjoyed access to counsel, Mazen Namdekano has not. The Nazi leaders enjoyed a presumption of innocency, Mazen Namdekano has not. The Nazi leaders received fair notice of the crimes alleged by the IMT prosecution team. The accusation against Mazen Namdekano are expressed at an infinite level of generality that confirms preparation of a defense. The accused Nazi leaders, some of which were accusated, were tried based upon volumes of authentic evidence and testimony subject to cross-examination. The Nigerian government has failed to adduce a shirt of authentic evidence or testimony subject to cross-examination, the greatest engine ever invented for the discovering of truths, he said. The more they try stopping Biafra-related issues, the more the public discourse and understand the truth about the struggle. They lost it. At that moment, they believe they could stop this ideology with guns, intimidations, and propaganda. Only God will give the Biafrans, as he do to the Israel, and the God that gave Mazen and the Kano, you know, the will, and the strength to do this, we continue to guide them. I am a full-blooded Easterner, and I see and I feel the atrocities being committed by this, the night may called Buari in our land anywhere by 2023. Anyway, by 2023, he will be a candidate at the International Criminal Court in the Netherlands. These are reactions by Nigerians. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.